Tonight, we're learning more about Chris Gradeville after police say he was shot and killed outside a home in Omaha yesterday. Authorities say he was on the property to conduct maintenance. 3 News Now reporter Zach Williamson spoke with some of the people that knew him best. I think we all realize this is, this is not going to be an easy uh, several days here. The Creighton and Omaha communities are filled with sadness and shock after Chris Gradeville was shot and killed Thursday morning. He was just 37 years old. Chris and his family have many ties to Creighton University. From 2004 to 2007, Chris played for the Creighton baseball team. Head coach Ed Service, who has known Chris since 2004, says he may be the best competitor he'd ever coached, but he was an even better teammate. He's a tremendously talented player during his time here. A great teammate, not a good teammate, but a great teammate. His players loved him. They, they enjoyed spending time with him. He was good to all players on the team, and I think that we don't see that very often in sport nowadays is Chris made the people around him better. Chris was drafted by the Texas Rangers in the 24th round of the 2007 draft. He played four seasons in the Rangers organization before stepping away from the game. He returned to Creighton in 2020, becoming the director of baseball operations and made an impact in a short time in the role. The players really enjoyed him because he's always very enthusiastic very passionate about Creighton baseball and about really the university in, in general. And uh, um, th those are qualities we don't see enough of nowadays. Creighton University said in a pair of tweets, the Creighton community is absolutely devastated by the death of Chris Gradeville. Chris represented what it meant to be a Blue Jay. He was an alumnus, former standout baseball player, and the volunteer director of baseball operations. But more importantly, Chris was an incredible human being, admired by everyone around him, including our coaches, staff, and players. We offer our prayers and deepest condolences to Chris's wife, Nikki, and the entire Gradaville family during this extraordinarily difficult time. Former Blue Jay teammate Tom Oldham tweeted out, Chris Gradaville was a special person, teammate, and friend. Not only was he a hard worker with big passion, he was the glue. He connected everyone on the team together, a man of integrity, faith, and a true love for those around him. Chris was also a part of Omaha F3, a fitness group for men. They honored him and remembered him this morning as well. We always talk about on our runs, going and picking up the six, the guy who's kind of the slowest of the group. And Chris would routinely run back, pick up the, the last guy. He was very encouraging, always had a smile on his face, welcoming, welcoming of new guys. He was just a great member. Chris left a, a, a tremendous legacy and we're certainly not gonna uh, forget that for a long time. Reporting in Omaha, Zach Williamson, 3 News Now. Service says he's received many calls from former players and they, along with Creighton University and the baseball team, want to do anything they can to support white Chris's wife, Nikki, and the entire Gradeville family. Well, the man accused of shooting and killing Chris Gradeville was denied bond in court today. Liddell Thornton is facing three counts, including first degree murder, use of a deadly weapon and felony in possession of a deadly weapon. He's scheduled to be back in court for a preliminary hearing on November 19th. New information.